Hello. Capricorn and Cross Watchers alike. This is your February reading for the year 2020, right? Uh, Capricorn, this is for your sun and sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. This resonates with you. Good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose away. It goes. No point worried about shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Or it's none of your damn business unless you're nosy. And that's why we're all here, right? Right. If you want a personal, that info's down in the description box after the music channel listings. We go there to find a whole bunch of shit out. Alright, so caps. This feels like a fucking threat. <laughs> like, I've been saying that for a month now. Like, is that a threat? <laughs> But seriously, it does. It's it's like, hmm, got a judgment right here. Sagittarius had that as well, and this almost made me feel like a Thunderdome with it, right? Like, I don't know. That came to my head, that he was like, eh, I don't know, it doesn't feel like that entirely. Hey, kitten. She's just laying here, getting her lovin's on my lap. Oh my goodness, look at you. Acting so cute. Yes. So let's see. We got the Ace of Pentacles reversed with the Six of Pentacles. That would immediately take somebody down to the Five of Pentacles, which is already over here. This brand new clean slate and start, right? It's like someone needs to reevaluate the balance of the shitty offer. Um, the Ace of Pentacles with uh, the Starman deck, it's like rotting in the ground and gross and shit, right? And it's like. What is this offer here? Like, I know I got red in my pocket, but why is this dude the only one getting coins here? There needs to be an evaluation of that. Like, who are you giving more to? Or, this could be somebody given to somebody else? Just because, like, the other person has something. But the other person doesn't. Down below in the situation with the Queen of Swords reverse, Capricorns could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, with the Knight of Swords also reverse. Uh, definitely an, could be an air sign. Could be coming in with hostile intentions. Definitely not to, um, I feel like this is not somebody who you can cooperate with. And look, they're coming for your head, Queen of Pentacles over here and the obstacles and challenges. Like, you're, eh, with the Seven of Wands, it's like, you're defenseless, and they're coming for your head. Which is like, is this a threat? <laughs> like, are you threatening me, madam? Because my back is turned, and I don't see you yet. Like, we could have the Seven of Pentacles over here, but then we go to the Four of Pentacles, which is security, too, with the Queen. Uh, up in the Wants and Wishes, though, we have, like, the Eight of Cups reverse with the King of Swords reverse. Once again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, someone with a bad fucking attitude. Might have something to do with the past. Um, they got, like... The cup that's on fire that they got passion for is over this way. But it seems like, with their future, it feels like it's stuck because in their fears and rejections... Is... But there you go. There you go. Uh, three of Cups reverse with the Nine of Swords. That's my friendly neighborhood witch bitches, but their witchery did not work as well as they thought it was and now they're all sad and they can't sleep at night and they're actually bothered but this could also be a third party situation led to a breakup but i usually don't take that with the three of cups in this deck it's usually like there's a group of people doing some ignorant shit um how this shit starts out will end the sacred clown with the five of pentacles taking a leap of faith to being left out in the cold And then we got judgment over here. Capricorns, I don't know. And cross watchers, I don't know if this is you. I don't know. There's a lot of air. A lot of air. A lot of pentacles for sure, but it's like... We get the five over here. We get the five over here. And if we add, like, the queen of pentacles with hers, where she's all disgruntled... Possibly on faith with spouse. Don't want to think that way, but you know, you never know. Um, greedy, inconsiderate at times. Like she feels defenseless, in a sense, or she looks defenseless in a sense, or maybe that's it, or maybe someone's trying to see when she's defenseless and in this bad energy. But when you add hers to the five pentacles, you get the four of pentacles, and that's going to be upright. So it's like there's going to be solid foundation. 
either way, particularly for her, since she's really the only human who's going to be invested in this. But it's just like, then it'll be security, so it's just like, ah, what is going on here? But seriously, is this a threat? <laughs> Good job, I don't do well with threats, personally, myself. Let's see, Ace of Pentacles. With the Six of Pentacles. The author's shitty because there needs to be an evaluation of fairness. Right? Uh, but there's been a lot of gossip going on. Probably nothing that's really honest. <clears throat> like, people just talking nonsense and shit, right? And here's the King of Swords, but he's upright right here. He's looking over at a disaster. Is he the old man in the chair listening to them? But he's rec he could be recognizing that like what these people had said um, was some shit. And he's looking over there like, huh, there's a storm over this way, right? But again, he's arrogant and reversed over here. So it's like, what the fuck is up with that? Over here, Queen of Swords with the Knight of Swords, both reversed in the situation. Um, scorned woman... Illogical cuts anybody. They look at their food funny for no reason. She doesn't even know they even had food. She just thinks that they did it earlier that day, hours ago, before she ever met them. And she's coming in for some head. She doesn't know how this. <laughs> wow, that came out wrong, but mainly the Queen of Pentacles' head, it seems like. But it's like they're taking a leap of faith, not knowing exactly um, where it's going to lead to. Probably back. <laughs> like they might go back. Like they want to take a leave of faith in the dark, but then it's just like, ah, shit, that's not the right thing to say. It's like they go back. Like they want to say something, but they're always coming in with like shitty words. But then, like, when it comes time to take that leap of faith that's in the dark, they go and run backwards, just being like, I don't know if that's the right thing to say. Or maybe that's not the right argument to be had. It's like they want to come in perfectly when you're defenseless, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. Oh my. Eight of Cups with this King of Swords, right? Now he's all nettled. He does, he, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Like, he wants to have the passion for whatever, but he's frozen in time because of his fear over here. Uh, what, is he all pissed because you were able to see past something? Or did he see past something with the Devil card? That's your card, Capricorn. Like, maybe you saw the light and that just pissed them off. Or maybe they're recognizing something that was appeared unhealthy, what could actually have been saved, and that's what makes them angry. Um, mm, maybe they thought you were going to come back to them. Or maybe they want to go to you now. Like, they see the light and it's just like, oh, I need to deliver my love. But if that's the case, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Like, this is a straight-up threat that someone can't even carry out on their own. Like, who- hold up. You know what? I'm gonna ask something. Like, who are you running back to argue to? Because I'm curious about that. Why are you running back to argue a different argument? Oh, because it's too much. <laughs> They just stop right at the cliff, and then they're just like, oh, maybe this is too heavy, and I'll fall way harder than what I want to off this cliff. But at the same time, you're going to fall regardless, so it's not going to help either way. Obstacles and challenges. Waiting for you to be defenseless, Capricorns, or in some really bad energy, I feel like. You know, because, yeah, they're crazy. Queen of Swords, once again, she's reversed. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Capricorns... Have you pissed off an earth sign or something? Not an earth sign, an air sign or something? Because, like... Someone is all up in this shit. And they want your head. But they don't know how to, like, go about taking your head either. But they're crazy enough to come try it. They definitely want to come up and do some shit to you. Just so they can start a new beginning? What? Cap
Capricorn, is this your stalker again? Did they come back? <laughs> Are they bugging you? Because this person seems like they're fucking insane. Like, coming with their shit like this. Um, like, were they waiting for words? Like, negative gossip and shit about you? They were just waiting on the distance, looking at the lightning, and, and rather than that, like, they saw you get better? And now it's like, oh shit, they're gonna ride up to me, or maybe I'll ride up to them. But they think that you are going to come to them for, or they're gonna have to face you for this new beginning to have together. But the thing is, they wanna come in with threats, but they can't come in with a good enough argument because they're at a standstill because they don't know when you are defenseless. You saw the light, so it's like. It's like someone wants you to come back to them, but they're too much of a pussy to say it themselves. That and they're crazy. And they're coming with threats. Or they want to make threats, but they know that the threats won't work. It's like they don't know who you are anymore or some shit. Alright. Three of Cups reverse with a Nine of Swords reverse. Friendly neighborhood witch bitches. Their witchery came back on them. It didn't work as well as they thought it would. Right. Now they say it could also be third party situation as well. But I don't think so. I, I, I don't think that's the biggest portion of what's going on here. Let's see. Watching for snakes, king of wands. Trying to take that control and command and judge correctly. Hmm. Could be dealing with a Leo. It's like on one hand, someone was watching snakes, but then there's another perspective where it's like a child watching a bunch of people guard them, too. It's like they saw the snakes for what they were, but now they're like being watched by them. Like Ron the fucking snake has friends. Oh shit, starts how it'll end. Um, five of Pentacles with a Sacred Clown Reverse trying to take a leap of faith, only to go to the Five of Pentacles. Now we got the Six of Pentacles, the Ten with the Ace of Pentacles, but the Ace of Pentacles would also be reversed as well. I, yeah, it'd still be the Ace of Pentacles even if we subtracted. Which is shitty offer. That's why it leads to the Five of Pentacles and the Sacred Clown. It's not based on fairness at all. But betrayal. Ooh. Capricorns and cross watchers. Oh, that was scary. Who did you run into? That feels like. This almost feels like ownership. I don't like that. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? This, like, I don't even know. It, like, is this is seriously the stalker who was stalking you last year, guys? Because it's been a minute since we've talked about him. It's like, I know someone was back on their bullshit. Let's see. They need to get out of the traps they set up for themselves. That's their judgment call here. The beginning theme and the ending theme, right? So this, I feel so this person might have known what they've done to themselves. Like everybody's left the wedding has already been closed up, and now they're all sad because they're single. You know, they don't like their position. Could also be broke. Don't know where that came from. Somebody said that shit. So let's see, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. Clarifying. This person's fucking nuts. <laughs> So let's see, situation. Someone was, I think, looking for bad things to be said. I almost feel like the King of Swords wants to stand proud as he watches disaster. That's dark. That's really dark. Like someone was waiting for bad shit to happen. Listening for gossip, almost. Listening for something bad to happen to you, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. Mm. Just so you come back with an offering. 
you know, oh, it's going to take Capricorn a while. They're fucking slow anyway. Mm. Yeah, wh whoever this person is, like, yeah. Oh, Capricorns. They expected you to slowly but surely come up to the shore carrying their swords for them. And you probably threw, like I told, I think I told Sagittarius this, you was like, you just threw them on the ground and was like, I wish the parlay, but before they could even start the argument or figure out if it was like a, a, a dessert cocktail or whatever, you just went away on the boat. You're just like, here you go, here's your mess back. Like, nobody wants this shit. There's something that came up. Okay, now I got it. Anyway, back to your reading, Capricorns. I'm sorry. Anyway, so Capricorn, the situation. But yeah, this person really expected you to just come up and like live or whatever, but instead you just threw their swords back on the shore at them while their back was turned. Like, nope. I'm. I got my swords. I'm going somewhere else. Down with the situation where the person wants to come in, say some nasty shit, but then rides back when they realize that argument isn't going to work. Um, stagnating themselves with just getting the shit over with. You know, they're having a hard time dealing with that. They got the Nine of Swords reversed again, but it's definitely the situation. And that's part of the fear, too. Ugh, and it makes them even more crazier. It's like they don't know what to fucking say to you to get to your under your skin or get to you, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. It's like they it's literally like they don't know who the fuck you are. Like they have no idea how to approach you because it's almost like it's been so long that they don't know what to even say. It's like it's been like, you know, like let's be clear. Capricorn, you are a very adaptable and changeable fucking um whatever the fuck you are, goatfish thing, right? And it's like, you are so adaptable that if someone doesn't spend enough time with you, they'll notice a complete change in you, and they'll be like, who's this person I'm dealing with? Like, you know, we tend to do that. We don't mean to. We're just really good at being chameleons with the environment and people we're around, right? We just know how to blend. It's a gift. <laughs> It's a gift from the devil, but we are the devil, so, you know. But we, we're, ha we're able to do that, and when that happens and we have a long exposure away from somebody, they might not remember how we are, and we might not even act the same way that really they're used to. Or that's my BPD talking. Who knows? But I feel like that's also a Capricorn trait as well, because we are very adaptable and changeable. And I feel like, Capricorn, you might have changed so much for this person, they don't know how to argue with you anymore. It's just like, who the fuck is this? Like, shit. <laughs> right? They just keep running back because they don't know what to say, and it bothers them so much, it makes them more and more bitter. What they want and wish for with the devil, shadow side, upright, and... They want... Okay, hold up. They want you to see the light and offer your cup, for sure. And they're all mad and bitter and coming for your head because you haven't yet. They just don't know when you're going to open up about it, you know? They're expecting shit to work out. Like, you know, you still need sculpting to be done, dear. I still need to work on you. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're here to delay me and give me, like, a fucking snozberry juice. And snozberries, she snakes snozberries. So says the kitten, you know? There you go. Mmm, Capricorn. One more on that one. Like, this person's fucking stupid. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. No, it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. <laughs> Why would that work? It's like... Ugh. Or, they're hoping that, like, you'll be willing to work on it with them. Just so they can turn you the fuck down shortly after, I feel like. Because, you know, three pentacles, eight of pentacles reversed, that makes the five of pentacles, but it would be reversed, so they would be getting out of the cold. 
Their whole intention is to put you in the cold so they can get out of the cold themselves and be like, oh yes, I left Capricorn this time. Yes, even though they, I feel like they probably left you anyway. They just wanna make sure you feel like they left you. <laughs> Which is like, that's insane. That's the whole unfairness and betrayal right there. Don't listen to this person, Capricorn. Definitely. Um, the obstacle and challenge is they need to let this shit the fuck go. Cause you know, nobody wants an insane pants around them, right? They, let, they need to let go that they are in control of you and you are their pet. That's a fucking ram. It is in no way shape a goddamn goat. We Like, the only close goat is on the Queen of Pentacles. And that's on a fucking chair. Because she rides that shit. <laughs> oh, this person. Fears and rejections, Capricorns. And cross-watchers alike. Seeing snakes and then, like, being trapped by them, I feel like. Could have been by a Leo with this person. Maybe they hung out with the wrong people and listened to them, and it's just like, this person might have set me up to be in a trap. They just want to have a good time with real bitches, not the witch bitches. And they're trying to see their options in that. They're actually trying to make the Ten of Cups here. I think they miss good times, and they're trying to find out what they can find within it. But it's still, it's like, or they're seeing that, like, after all this time, Capricorns and Crop. Are they watching you like you're a snake and you're more like a child being watched by them? They see you're having a good time and you have plenty of options around you. That could be the situation, too. Is that what they're afraid of? That, like, <laughs> that you're moving on? Is that their fear? Damn. Or are they trying to find options to get to you since you're having a good time and be like, hey, I got seven cups. I can get your three cups and then I'll have ten cups. And it's like, motherfucker, let that the fuck go. You know? It's like they see you like a good luck charm. And they're really mad that you're not dependent on them anymore. How's that for some shit? <laughs> uh, how this shit starts, how it'll end. They want to be unfair with this betrayal. Like I said, they want to put you out in the cold so they can come back in. Mm, but I don't think that's going to work very well. In fact, they might stab themselves in the head since this is their trap. Yeah, they play themselves. <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> Look at the tricks they go through. Oh my god. <laughs> Capricorn. Whoever this person is who's coming for your head is not really good. Um... With evaluating the situation, I'll have one more on that. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is great. I, I, I love a happy ending. <laughs> yeah. Someone's gonna choke them the fuck out. Uh, this yeah, this person's just like no. They they completely played this. They come at you right now. They might as well just choke themselves out because, like, you're just gonna take them off their throne. It's just gonna be like, what are you doing here? Like, what are you thinking? Who told you you could talk to me? <laughs> like, let them rant for a bit while you call a tow truck on their vehicle. Like, yeah, this person is parked illegally. Like, this is their license plate number and this is the model of their car. You know, just the. F like, it's like you finesse them right when they come to finesse you, and, which is terrible because they already have the night twice, and, and, and then it's like when they finally do ride in, th they fuck themselves up, and then they end up choking out the lion. Once again, could be with a Leo. Mmm. Fucking idiot comes to mind. That's the best term for this person. But, Capricorns, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, because this is fucking hilarious to me. Um, if you did, and this helps you out, please like, share, and subscribe. You ain't got to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it, of course. I love your guys' faces. Y'all be safe, be good, or be good at it, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.